when did you decide that you needed to do changing? And yes, I'm with that. We've been sort of looking at it for the last uh, two and a half, three years. Mm -hmm. I think we've been talking about. Uh, bye, Isabel. Bye, Patty. Thank you. I don't know if that fucks you up. <laughs> Good edit. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we've been looking at it for the last, you know, two, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. What was the sort of trigger that said now is the time? Uh, it was more of an, an evolution of thoughts and you know a, a process of uh, you know trying to understand uh, you know where we were, where we've been, where we want to go, uh, if it was necessary, uh, you know the, the, the type of you know statement we wanted to make, and you know a lot had to do with. Uh, I, I reached a point when I looked around and, and I, I sort of felt that what I saw in terms of the environment wasn't really representative of what I thought our brand is. And, and you know, our brand is, you know, it's tradition, it's, it's history, it's, it's, it's our roots, it's uh, Montreal, it's the main, and there wasn't really much in here that was representative of it. So what we've done in the renovation is we've uh, sort of tapped on the, on those roots, on those original elements, you know, with the brick, with the ceiling, with the, uh, you know, post-industrial look, and uh, we've sort of, I think, brought back the the, the feeling of what Moishe's really uh, is, and the, you know, what I wanted to convey to uh, to people when they come in. How much of the changing of the menu have you done? We haven't changed the, the menu in any way, really. What we've done is we've added things to it. We've uh, added a, a couple appetizers, some tartars, uh, lobster roll, uh, crab cakes, uh, a few salads. But what we've done as well, fine, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Take care. What we've done as well is, uh, and I think more importantly, is we've we've lowered the point of entry. Mm -hmm. We've, we've uh, brought. We, we didn't bring any of our prices down because we can't because the product we serve is, is expensive. We bring in, you know, USDA high quality beef, and you know it is what it is, and it's very expensive. But we've uh, created smaller portions. We've created new dishes with uh, less protein in it, uh, and we've been able to again lower the point of entry. So as you know, most of our menu started at thirty-seven or thirty-nine dollars. Now. You know, there's things 27, 28. Uh, we have a Kobe burger, which is 28 or 29 dollars. Uh, a rack of lamb, which is in the below 30. So we've, uh, you know, been able. What, what we plan or hope is is, is to uh, have uh, a broader audience, talk to more people, and let more people experience uh, our, uh, our restaurant. Who came up with the three hours till midnight? And can you please give them a large pat on the back for me? That's brilliant. Uh, well, it was my, my idea to do it, okay. and I worked with our, our marketing guy uh, Tony Babinski to create it. We didn't want to just say, okay, you know, we have a twenty-five dollar menu from mm -hmm. you know nine to twelve, three days a week. We wanted to brand it and mm -hmm. you know have fun with it and do something interesting and create a feeling. So we came up with this sort of almost pulp fiction feel mm -hmm. about. Uh, uh, about the program and you know to sort of celebrate mm -hmm. nightlife in Montreal, nightlife on the main, which is very alive and and well, mm -hmm. and we wanted to sort of be involved with it and you know tell a mm -hmm. story, tell our story mm -hmm. with, uh, with, uh, with three hours to bed. Yeah, because uh, to me that's absolutely brilliant as far as bringing back. Because to me, since I closed the gallery, someone was sort of. I don't know if it's because yeah. I closed or I got out. Oh, my, the right no, for time. sure. Everyone says. <laughs> and at which point, to me, yeah. this three hours to midnight thing, I can easily see it as being the thin edge of the wedge to bring it back. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing is also, I mean, part of everything we're doing is, you know, we're, we're, we're bullish on Montreal. I mean, you know, it, it's easy to look around and, you know, the economy hasn't been great and saying Boulevard St. Laurent is, you know, taking a hit since, you know, all the construction. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we, we looked at the, the, the sum of all the parts and said, you know, this is a great city. This is a great part of the city. And, you know, we almost feel we've taken a leadership role in saying, you know what, we're investing money, we're investing thought, we're investing, you know, blood, sweat, and tears into saying, let's let, let's make this special again. And uh, I, I think you know we've done it with what we've done so far, and uh, you know we're sort of hoping that you know the, the feeling catches on, and uh, you know more interesting things happen. happen on the How'd you find Josh? Uh, through uh, a chef of a chef, so, you know, a friend of a yes. friend, but a chef of a chef, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, Josh is Josh is great. He's uh, he's highly intelligent, uh, very skilled, and uh, it's been great working with him. You know, we uh, we sort of see you know eye to eye, and uh, I'm more of a business person, and he's the, the creative end. But you know, together, sort of, we've been able to uh, you know, just come up with some interesting ideas, mm -hmm. and uh, the end result of everything that we've actually put out and decided to. Uh, make available has, uh, in my opinion, and so far, you know, from what we've heard from people, has been, uh, you know, has, has been, has been great. great. No, it sounds, from what we had this afternoon, it was yeah. wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, people are excited by, by the yeah. new things, by the way. Yeah. yeah. And they are very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're very, very good. Not there, and then, got to talk about the burger. This burger, yeah. uh, you know, we think it's the best in, 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 in the world. Like, you know, anything we do, we'd like to say, okay, you know, how could it be better? If it can't be better, okay, then, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're happy with it. Uh, Kobe beef from, uh, from Idaho, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Wagyu from, yeah. from, from the States. Uh, we developed uh, uh, an interesting uh, uh, mix that we put in it. Mm -hmm. Very simple, there's not a lot in there, but, uh, you know, just, you know, subtle hints mm -hmm. of things. Uh, grilled on charcoal, live mm -hmm. charcoal, can't do better than that. Uh, we serve it on a, a challah hamburger roll, mm -hmm. which we helped develop with a baker, so it uh, just has a, a great you know, Lo flavor. Locally sourced? Uh, locally sourced yeah. from Montreal, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so it's, uh, you know, it's a, you know, a rich egg bread uh, Bun, but it's it's soft and, and, it, and it you know when you squeeze it it squeezes which mm -hmm. is what what a burger should do and uh, we keep it simple we do uh, a grilled oyster mushroom take a large mushroom uh, nice marinade and aged cheddar and boom away we go and, uh, do you so know do you know what the what cuts you use for the uh, for the beef. It's all uh, it's it's all full muscle cut, so mm -hmm. it comes from the chuck and the blade. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's not trimmings. It's uh, okay. Full yeah, muscle. I didn't expect it was trimmings and stuff like yeah. that, but it's just with um, what is it? The guys down in New York, uh, the Nerva Tavern, using Pat Lafrey beef. Minetta, Minetta, yeah. Yeah, Minetta Tavern. Yeah. Sorry, and it's the sort of thing of where now everybody's getting into their special blends. I was wondering yeah. if you developed a sort of any specific. No, sort of it's it's, it's Wagyu, and it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 primarily you know mm -hmm. the, the blade and the uh, and the chop. I know there they use uh, brisket and mm -hmm. they mix it with uh, the different cuts. And yeah, no, there. I've, I've had their burger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now there, I'm looking forward to. I read somebody talking about uh, where they made a mix of uh, was it um, chuck. Sirloin tip and oxtail. Yeah. And apparently, according to what yeah. they wrote about it, it's the most mind blowing. So I'm yeah. looking to now try and find out who uses what different cuts of yeah. beefs for the burgers. So it's then to say, okay, so how does this different from this one? Because yeah. once you start blending flavors, yeah, you, you come up with a whole different, mm -hmm. uh, whole different mix. The the, uh, the gentleman at uh, Manetta is uh, from Montreal, uh, Ria. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good man. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, yeah, I, which one? Talking with Josh, we got the impression that you're going to be having sort of seasonal changes in the menu, although yeah. nothing re really large. Yeah. How do you see moishas going forward in the future and stuff like that? Because if there are changes where it used to be so, this is tradition, yeah. now this is tradition but changed. Well, well here's the thing. Uh, we, we are tradition, and, and part of, I think, what peeps, keeps people coming here is the fact that, you know, you know it, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But within that... Uh, I, I think there's a lot of room and, you know, as long as we can stay legitimate to mm -hmm. our brand, to uh, what people expect from us, mm -hmm. then I think we can, uh, we, we can push the envelope. And, you know, we've toyed around with different ideas. I mean, you know, we own charcoal because of our charcoal grill. So, you know, we've talked about, you know, maybe even doing like a charcoal grill, you know, pizza on or after nine minutes, mm -hmm. you know, with, you know, with, with, with meat on it. We, you know, we were at uh, Junie, which is a great Japanese restaurant, and we had amazing uh, rolls with uh, Kobe beef on it, you know. And so we talk about okay, I mean, we own beef, mm -hmm. you know. Can we do something like that? I'm not sure, you mm -hmm. know. And I don't think it would ever be a mainstay, but I think it's the kind of things we can experiment, have fun with, especially on our after nine menu, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, keeping things interesting for us and and our clientele. Um, but again, you know, as, as long as we feel we, we can own it and it's legitimate, mm -hmm. you know, to. Uh, you know, to our DNA, then uh, you know, I'd like to you know play with, uh, with different things. Cool. At which point, when I finish my interviews, normally ask, is there anything that I haven't asked that you'd like to answer? Is there anything that you haven't said that you'd like to say? Uh, you know, just that uh, you know, 
me, you know, personally, uh, I, I love my business. I love uh, our place in the community. I love the Maine. We love Montreal. Uh, we've been here almost 75 years, and you know, with all this, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, you know, doing this for another 75 years. You know, by by then, I'll only be like about 35. <laughs> So, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking they, they forward have, to They have the technology, they will have the technology yeah, then. Yeah, or just, you know, just, just eating well and living well mm -hmm. might, might do it. You know? Exactly. Do it. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Congratulations you, on your daughters getting into med school yeah, as well. Thank you. Yeah, sure.